What is this? Half human and half animal. It's a sign. Werewolves live among us. But who has seen their true faces? One roams the streets this night, spreading death and horror. As the mayor of Munich, I hired you, detective, to investigate this case about a so-called werewolf attacking our citizens. It's Oktoberfest, so naturally our city is overcrowded. But we must keep order. Your visit tells me you found a clue. Several, Mayor Schultz. I shall show them to you. It all started when... I recognized the mayor's handwriting. He sent me this theater poster as a clue. This claw mark and bloodstain seem suspicious, but they don't prove there was a werewolf backstage. Still, it's better to hurry, Vince. It seems another attack has happened. Yes, sir. We'll be there before the police. That stage door is on the right, and I'll be waiting for you out front. Oh, don't forget your cane, sir, and your case folder, too. I'll start this case by investigating the crime scene backstage. I need to question everyone about this werewolf. Werewolves in Munich? Highly doubtful. This is more likely someone's game of shadows.
nothing. I found the victim officers. Give me a moment to examine her. Aren't you that famous detective? Dr. Richter. The mayor sent me to help you. I've examined all of the previous crime scenes. I've been given some time to examine the victim, but I'd appreciate seeing your deductive skills in action. I'll assist you. I agree, this was a vicious attack. The last crime scene had similar clues. Claw-like scratches and huge paw prints and the victim's handprints. Does this one have similar clues? Judging by the mess, the actress struggled fiercely. She broke free, threw things, grabbed scissors for protection. She even ripped some fabric from her attacker's coat. But the attacker was much stronger. Incredible force with which these scratches, wounds, and paw prints were made lead me to believe her attacker was not human. Could it really be a werewolf? Thankfully, the victim is still with us. Let's wake her up and see what she remembers. Under his white hat and brown leather cloak, he was a werewolf. Good, detective. Now it's my job to take care for this poor Fraulein. If you need my help, come to my office anytime. Since he didn't kill the victim, he's likely looking for another. Unfortunately for us, that's easy to do in the Oktoberfest crowds. Frightened victim claimed she saw a werewolf, but she could be in shock. At the same time, the clues proved this attacker was tall and very strong. Could the sharp claws be tools shaped to look like claws? Comparing that stranger I saw and the victim's words, I surmise he is a well-built man about six feet tall, wearing a wide-brimmed hat and a brown leather cloak.